You want to have buttons that allow you to switch between absolute values and percentage of total values. In this video, I'm going to show you how. Welcome to How to Power BI, my name is Bas, and if this is the very first time for you visiting this channel, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. In my channel, I share everything I know about Power BI with you. So let's have a look how we can make that toggle to switch between absolute values and percentage of total value. Now for our example, let's create a stacked column chart. Okay, so a stacked column chart where we show the sales amounts broken down over time. So over here in my day table, I take the year and the month and I'm gonna expand down to the month level. And then on the legend, we're going to take the channel name and let's drop it on there. Now let me first show you my preferred solution, which is by using calculation groups. Now calculation groups contain calculated items, which basically are just calculations which you can apply against existing measures. And this way you can reduce the number of measures that you have in your data model, but also you have much more flexibility when it comes to formatting, which will come in handy a bit later. Now, unfortunately, to create these calculation groups, we need to have an external tool like Tabular Editor. Now, if you haven't installed it, then just go to the website, tabulareditor.com. There you can download it. And you also have to make sure that you are on one of the more recent versions of Power BI. And then you will see a new tab, External Tools, with Tabular Editor. Now, from here, you can open it up. Now, once you're in Tabular Editor, we can go to the Tables folder, which gives you an overview of all of the tables in your data model. And here we can also add a calculation group. Now let's do this. So right click onto that folder, create, and then calculation group. Now as a name for this calculation group, let's go for a measure, measure switch. Inside of the calculation group, we can add our calculated items. So basically calculations that you can apply to existing measures. So to create a new one, just right click again, but now on the calculation group, create new and then calculated item. So the first calculated item is gonna be for the absolute values. So I'm gonna call this one absolute. And then here we can type in our expression for this calculated item, which is gonna be very simple because this is going to be just our selected measure, okay? So this will just take the values for the measure to which you're applying this calculated item. Then let's create a second one. So I'm gonna go back to my calculation group, right click, new calculation item and this one is going to be for the percentage of total now, this expression is just a little bit more complex because here we want to divide bracket open and then what do we want to divide well the selected measure and so let's say that is sales in our case so selected measure okay and then we want to divide it by the total now let's have a quick look again at our visualization because here on the legend we have the different channels and what we want to do is we want to remove uh, the filter on channel so that we have the total for a specific month. Now let's go back to tabular editor and add the second part of our calculation where we want to take our selected measure but remove uh, the filter context on channel and this we can do with a calculate function so calculate bracket open then what do we want to calculate? We want to take the selected measure. Okay. And then we want to remove filters on channel. Okay, so remove filters on the dim channel table. Okay, so dim channel. Okay, then we can close our calculate function and we can close the divide function. Now then we can also rename the name of the column for this calculation group. So let's select name. And then here we can rename it to, let's call it measures. Okay, so now that is done. Let's see if it works. So I'm going to save what we have done here. So just here in the ribbon, click on save. Then we can go back to Power BI. Now first you get a warning, one or more calculation groups need to be manually refreshed. So let's do that, refresh now. And then here on the right hand side, you see we have a new table, measure switch with the measures column. Now let me show you how that looks like in the data view. Okay, so here you see we have the measures column. There's also a hidden column for the sorting. Just ignore that for now. And you see our two calculation items, absolute percentage of total. Now let's use it for our report. Now to do that, we can add a new visual, which is going to be a slicer. 
and let's resize it. Let's put it for now above our other visual and let's take the measures column and put it onto the slicer filter. Now, here we can now switch between absolute and percentage of total. And you can already see that when you use this calculation group, either on filter or on slicer, then it is already applied to the other visuals on your report page. Okay, so it applies the calculation group to the sales measure that we have here on values. Now, there's of course still one problem because if we switch from absolute to percentage of total, you see the number formatting is not the way that we like it, okay? Now, the problem is that with uh, the standard functionalities that we have in Power BI, we can only stick to one formatting for one specific measures. But with calculation groups, we can have an expression that determines which formatting should be applied. Now, let's go back to Tabular Editor and fix this. Now, let's first start off with the calculation item, absolute. Now, here in the property, we can switch to format string expression, and we can just type in the formatting string that we want for absolute values. So, let's say that we want to have numeric values with uh, one decimal. Then we can go here to the percentage of total, where we can also switch to format string expression, and here we want to have percentages, so 0, 0.0, percentage. Okay, now I'm going to save again my changes, go back to Power BI, and ta-da, it's fixed. Okay, so now we have percentages for percentages of total, and when I switch to absolute, I see the absolute values. So this is an amazing feature that also comes with calculation groups, which is super handy. Now, the next thing that we need to do is clean up our slicer a little bit. And so we could, for example, get rid of the header. So just go to format, turn slicer header off. Okay, then here on the general, we can change the orientation to horizontal. And then you get more of uh, these buttons. And then we can just resize it a little bit like this. And if you like, you can make further formatting changes, but let's leave it like this. Then we can go to selection controls. We want to make sure that we have single select turn on. Okay. And then we can just drop it onto our visual. Okay. Now, of course, you also need to make sure that it overlaps with the visual and it's not hidden behind it, which you can change here in the view. Selection pane. Okay, and here the slicer needs to be above uh, the sales by channel. And you can also group them together if you like. Group them together, just like this. And over here we have the two items. Okay, and now we can have a toggle for when we want to show the percentage of total and the absolute values. So what do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you like this kind of content, then also make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the latest videos. And I hope to see you in the next video.